Hi, folks. Just chilling on the side of the wash. Stupid fences never stop. So I've been riding down this wash for several miles trying to find an exit. I don't feel like turning around and going all the way back. But I'm gonna keep going until I can find a hole in the fence and get the hell out of here. I still have a decent amount of gas. So I'm not really worried about running out of gas and being stranded. I've already ridden like 50 miles already. This thing gets like close to 100 miles on a full tank of gas. It's pretty crazy. I think this hole's like a gallon and a half. I think. And it gets around like 60 to 80 miles to the gallon. Somewhere between 60 to 80 miles to the gallon. It holds like a gallon and a half. So I think I'll get... I mean, my math is probably completely off, but I probably get close to around 100 miles per tank. Oh, who cares? I get good gas mileage. Let's just keep it at that. We're riding all over the place, and now got a half moon out tonight. Just we're riding down the wash, going into those dark, creepy <laughs> underpasses. Luckily for me, I got a light. This light is pretty bright, lights up the whole road. I think there's six LEDs on this thing. It's pretty bright and it lasts like three or four hours on one charge. It's, it's got a pretty decently sized battery that I attached underneath the seat. So charge this thing up and the lights on this will last forever. And keep in mind there's also a tail light too. Tail light. It's also a brake light. So whenever I pull on the brake, I got a brake light too. So whenever I'm on the road trying to avoid cops, obviously I have a brake light so people don't ram my ass. Because I'm not really a big fan of surprise butt sex, damn it. <clears throat> the only reason I'm not falling over is because I got a parking brake. This brake is awesome. Not only is it 10 times more powerful than the stock brake that came with this garbage bike, but you can use it as a parking brake. See, I like it with a brake. And I'm gonna start going down the hill. This brake is really powerful. I lock up the wheel a lot when I push on the brake too hard because this thing is really, this brake is made for a quad. So it's kind of overkill for a, a mini bike. I had to custom cut part of the frame to get this thing to fit. Because this wasn't made for a mini bike. That's why it's overpowered. But I love how you can turn it into a, a little parking brake. You just pull the brake in like this, you push this thing down, and you're not going anywhere. Like this thing will not budge with the parking brake on. But I've been riding around a lot after like 50 miles of nonstop riding. I'm gonna give it a break, because I, I went west. And I just kept following this road west until I went out in the middle of nowhere. Next thing I know, I've, I've ridden like over 20 miles on this deserted road. And then when I finally came to some stoplight in the middle of nowhere, and I saw this neighborhood, apparently there's a neighborhood out there that's in the middle of nowhere. I decided that it's time to turn back before I run out of gas. But after I checked to see how much gas I had left, I still had half a tank of gas left. After riding over 20 miles one way, not to mention all the other zigzags going through neighborhoods everywhere else I've gone through. And when I was ready to turn back, I still had a little over half a tank. And now when I got all the way back to here and then I was riding the wash, I still have like maybe one fourth of a tank right now. So I still got a good amount of gas. Assuming I can 
get out of this damn place. There's fence everywhere, so I can't get back on the road. So I'm continuing to look around, see if I can find a way to get out of here. This is fun. I, I didn't think that this mini bike was going to be able to go up and down the sides of the wash like this. I thought this thing was going to break or something, but I put so many high quality parts into this thing, including the front suspension. So these are much better quality parts. So I've just been like bouncing up and down the wash. It's going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I wish this thing had a, a rear suspension. I put a front suspension on here, but I can't put a rear suspension on this thing without completely cutting the frame up. And I just don't feel like doing that. It's too complicated. This one, I just pop the old forks off. Forks. Pork on a fork! Anyway, pop the old fork off, took the tire off and everything. I put the new forks on. Forks! These look way better quality. So much more comfortable riding this thing with front suspension. So much more comfortable. And I'm kind of surprised that the front fender actually fit. This is the stock fender. This is the only thing on this bike that's stock. I can't find a custom front fender. It's really the only thing left, but this is black so it blends in and it looks good enough. So I don't really care if I find a custom fender. might grind off this stupid Monster Moto logo and just make it smooth right there. Just so it'll be plain. That'll be custom. Custom enough. Whatever. It's like, what would be the point? I like the way this fender looks. The only reason I get a custom fender, if one even exists, is just so I can say that this isn't the stock fender. This is a custom fender. I can just make the damn thing custom myself if I wanted to. I'll just grind off the top of the stupid logo right here. It's smooth. Okay, I'm going to try to get out of here. Go look for more videos. Screw you!